Hey, hey, what's up everyone? How is everybody doing today? Good, good, good. I'm glad, I'm glad. All right, guys, so today I figure we do something a little bit different. As you guys know, I do a lot of uh, trading card reviews because I still collect a lot of trading cards. So um, I'm a little bit under the weather right now. So I figure we do something a little bit different other than the action figure review. I've been trying to mix it up lately with statue reviews, and then I just recently did a review of the Batmobile. So I've been trying to mix it up every uh, every once in a while. So, so today I figure we take a look at these cards right here. Spider-Man! Um, this is not the complete set. These are just cards from... 1994 there there were so many damn trading cards out in 1994 um it was from this is the marvel venom spider-man spider sense and marvel cards from 1994 marvel entertainment group uh distributed by flare corp so i guess they are flare corp marvel uh specifically spider-man trading cards so guys, if you want to uh, sit back and relax and enjoy this little review, if not, you can turn this shit off. I don't care. <laughs> it's, it's up to you, but we're going to take a walk down memory lane and take a look at some of these trading cards because I feel like they're worth a look. And it's going to be a short... I'm going to try to make this uh, as short as possible, even though I'm already two minutes into this damn video. So, Immune to the Spider Sense, Venom, Super Strength Venom. And this is not some of the best artwork that has ever been produced. There are better trading cards. But like I said, I love trading cards, especially specifically 90s trading cards. And I love collecting specifically 90 trading cards because that was the thing back in the day. And I love what McFarlane is doing with the bringing trading cards to his... Uh, to his uh, action figures. When you when you buy the action figure, you get a trading card. So that's pretty awesome. Web shooting venom. Not so many people collect trading cards nowadays, but I still do because I'm an OG. Wall crawling powers. Spider tracer powers. Spider signal powers. And yeah, I mean that I don't have the entire set. Yeah, this is gonna go by really really quickly. So, but I think the artwork is definitely a worth a look. Spider Sense Powers. Spider Tracer Powers. Wait a minute, I think we just seen that one. That might be a duplicate. Spider Clone, speaking of clone, Spider Clone. Strange Transformations. Spider Lizard, uh-oh, I'm surprised Marvel Legends haven't given us this right here, Spider Lizard. That would be awesome, guys. Why not? They, they've given us Superior Octopus, which was the last Marvel Legend I reviewed. So, yeah, Spider Lizard? coming soon doppelganger oh my god such a horrible figure i feel like they could have did so much with that figure from marvel legends there's the man spider yeah if they do the man spider they better give us a kick-ass man spider man hasbro if you're listening probably not i'm just a small time youtuber spider hulk look at that i want i want marvel legends to give us a spider hulk i don't think they've given us a spider hulk I know Diamond Select has given us a Spider Hulk, but I'm not for sure if Hasbro has given us a Spider Hulk, guys. I would love to see that. Sandstorm. Do we have a Sandstorm? I'm not for sure. Duplicate. Hey, look at that Demo Goblin. Demo Goblin, which we are, which I'm building at the moment. Slowly but surely building uh, Demo Goblin at the moment. Chance. Or ch is it, yeah, Chance. I've never heard of Chance. Silver Mane. Never heard of him, but he looks pretty interesting. He'd be pretty cool in physical form, huh? Silver Name. Silver Mane. Do you guys want to hear the story of Silver, Silver Mane? I'm going to read the story because I'm just kind of intrigued. If not, you can always fast forward to this shit. Okay, Silver Mane was a teenager barely off the boat from Italy when he first got involved with organized crime. Since then, he's gone on to carve out a thriving empire for himself in the underworld. When his organs begin to fail due to old age, he had 
himself rebuilt as a powerful cyborg now with the brain of a criminal strategist and the body of a robotic killer machine silver mane is twice as deadly as ever creepy that'd be me in the future <laughs> when i get old i'm gonna build a robotic body uh that's if i survive long enough Hammerhead, man, they've, I don't, have they given us a Hammerhead figure from Hasbro? I don't know, man. Warrant, I've heard of Warrant. Calypso, oh yeah, Calypso. Calypso, I'm pretty sure they've given us a Calypso figure. Blood Rose, look at Blood Rose, Blood Rose. Man, there's so many damn figures, man. So many characters uh, Hasbro still has yet to do. Man Wolf. <clears throat> Spider-Man! Fantastic Four files. I love that image of Spider-Man. That's a beautiful image, man. Isn't it? That's a beautiful image of Spider-Man. There's Blood Rose again. Warrants again. What the hell? Hydro-Man. Hydro-Man. A lot of people like that Hydro-Man, the new Hydro-Man. I didn't really care too much for him. Solo. I didn't realize Solo was part of the Spider-Man universe. I thought he was part of the X-Men universe. Sin Eater. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Sin Eater? I don't even want to know. Rhino. We're due for a new Rhino figure, man. Chameleon. Venom. Give us an awesome... Give us an awesome big Marvel legend... Uh, figure man even though they gave us the big monster venom they need to give us a venom that looks like this guy because the last venoms they've been giving us man this the venom just haven't been looking looking like the venom from the comic books you know what i mean the todd mcfarland venom so they need to give us put the uh venom body on the omega red body um yeah that's that's the venom that they need to give us man you think with Venom being such a popular character, you think they, that they don't pop out Venom uh, characters, figures, as much as they do Spider-Man figures. Because Venom is a popular character, man. I don't know why they don't do more Venom figures. They need to. Spider-Man? Yeah, if there's one figure they need to make, uh, keep making figures of is Venom. Because Venom can go in so many different directions, man. You got Venom Hulk and Venom everything, dude. Uh, Electro, Spider-Man, Peter's Notebook, Spider-Man and Wolverine, Spidey's Greatest Team-Ups, Spider-Man and Punisher, awesome, Spider-Man and Green Goblin, and there's another duplicate, Spider-Man and Wolverine, Spider-Man and Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. Spider-Man and Silver Sable. Revenge of the Sinister Six. I'm guessing this must be a puzzle. Because I only see three. There's E. There's a Mysterio... Electro, Doc Ock, Hobgoblin. So this, there must be a puzzle within this. Fearful Symmetry. Spirits of Venom. Spider-Man versus Mysterio. Man, these, these characters are just so classic, man. The return, the return of Peter Parker's parents. Huh. Assassin Nation plot. Sabretooth in the background. That's pretty dope. Spider-Man versus Puma. Death of Gwen Stacy. Joe Robbie Robertson. 
The Origin of Spider-Man. Spider-Man Juggernaut. Spider-Man's Greatest Battles. Spider-Man vs. Kingpin. Spider-Man vs. Fire Lord. There's Spider-Man in this black costume. Spider-Man vs. Vermin. Spider-Man vs. Sabretooth. I didn't realize Sabretooth was that big in the Spider-Man universe. I didn't realize that they had battles. Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock. The origin of Spider-Man. Maximum Carnage. I love this. I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, um, they had a video game called Maximum Carnage with Venom and Carnage and Spider-Man. Uh, it was a really, really cool game. It was like, I think it was like for the PlayStation, for the very, very first PlayStation. That shows you how old I am. Spider-Man versus Juggernaut. I think we've seen that already. Spider-Man versus Morbius. Spider-Man versus Doc Ock, which we already seen. And last but not least, Return of the Burglar. All right, guys. So there was our little look. Uh, it's not a complete set. Like I said, I'm still missing a lot of cards, but I'm glad to have these cards in my collection. Um, there's like 100, 150, 160, I believe, of these cards. I, we probably only took a look at 100 of them. So there goes my little review, guys. Tell me what you think of these trading cards. Do you guys have any uh, trading cards uh, you want to recommend? I probably already did a review of them if you guys recommend because I've done a lot of reviews of trading cards on my channel. So um, if there's some trading cards you guys want to recommend that are really, really cool, if you guys collect trading cards, give me, uh, shoot me a line. Let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you guys still collect trading cards, if that's still a thing. If you're old school like me, leave your thoughts in the comments. What What is your favorite set of trading cards? Okay, guys, so we'll leave it at that. If you like this little review, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you want to receive more cool, epic reviews like this. Or casual. Shall we say casual? Not so much, not so much epic, but casual reviews. All right, guys, so there you guys have it. There was our little look at the Spider-Man uh Marvel cards from Flare Corp 1994. I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Bye!